Did you know that there are two table service restaurants located in the Mexican Pavilion? We actually only found this out on our last Walt Disney World trip. I don't know how we didn't know this, but somehow we didn't. La Hacienda de Angel is located in the Mexican Pavilion in Walt Disney World's Epcot. Dinner is served from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. and currently they are only open for dinner. Disney describes its restaurant as authentic Mexican cuisine and premium margaritas served with old world hospitality at this waterfront retreat. The prices range from $15 to $34.99 per adult. Hey guys, it's KJ and John from Disney Mom Life. Welcome, welcome back. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Ding that notification bell. And leave us a comment. Today we are at La Hacienda for dinner to do a dining review for you. If you guys are new to our channel, we do Disney videos every single Wednesday. John and I are both Disney cast members. We also do a ton of seasonal content and we also do a ton of shop with you. So if you like any of those things, we would love to have you subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this review. We break our food reviews into four categories, food, service, value, and atmosphere. So we give them a score from one to 10, then we average the score. So let's start off with service. The service was great. Our server was super attentive. Our kids were a bit whiny when we came in. And how many people came up to us and gave us stickers? Everyone oh, was trying goodness. to cheer the kids up. We had like four or five people come over. We were having double meltdowns. Yeah. In a quiet restaurant. <laughs> yes, yes. So I think like five different people came up to us and gave us stickers. Yeah, and we, fortunately, we left with like 10 stickers. Yeah. Fortunately, after like five to 10 minutes, the kids calmed down. But it feels like an eternity when you're in a quiet restaurant or just you know, when you have those kids at the moment. So the, our, our, our server was super attentive. We were a little late to our reservation, but they sat us right away. So the service, what would you say? Nine out of 10? Yeah, that's what I would go with. Nine out of 10. So then the atmosphere, I mean, if you guys can tell, we're in the Mexican pavilion. We're outside the restaurant because it's really quiet in there. So that was actually nice that it was quiet aside from the kids having a meltdown. We could hear each other speaking. It was just not that all the restaurants are loud, but it was just, it was really nice. And also if you get a table by the window, you are overlooking the water in Epcot, which is gorgeous. We didn't get a seat over there, but it would have been really nice if we could have. That was also the busier part of the restaurant. So maybe because of the baby meltdowns, it was probably best we weren't sitting <laughs> yeah. there. But yeah, if you're sitting by the windows, it sort of has the same vibe as like eating at the Moroccan restaurant. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Spice Road, or where you're kind of sitting on the water, or if you're sitting in UK, uh, out on the water. So it, it's enclosed like in and you're inside, AC, so you're in the AC. Yeah. But it has that feel of being on the water of World Showcase. Yeah, and the reason we didn't get to sit by the window was because we had to stroll, which again was a huge plus for us. So I'd say nine out of 10 for the yeah. atmosphere. It was really nice. Absolutely, beautiful views of Epcot. Next up we have food. I had the shrimp tacos. And do you remember what yours was called? Don't remember what it was called, but it was basically a chicken fajita. I had a build it, it had bacon and cheese, onions and peppers and chicken. And then you kind of rolled it up in a tor into a tortilla and you could add some salsa to it, like greenish salsa. I think it's salsa verde. Yeah. And then when he had quesadillas, the food was excellent. It was really good. We also got guacamole to start with. Oh, yes. And that was did very like, good. Did you like your, your, your cheese sandwich? Oh, your quesadillas? We told her Donald. Oh yeah, because we yeah. told Donald made them special for her. We told her it was a cheese sandwich. So the food was excellent. They were small portions. We were just eating at the uh, wing and Bre brewing, right? brewing, yeah, which was really good. So we, it was like the perfect amount of food. It was the full entree, but it was the perfect amount of food. It was so good. So, we, like I said, we ate wings like literally right before we came over, and it was. It was the perfect size. So my food was great, John's food was great, the quesadillas were good. So what were you Another nine. nine out of 10. And finally value, this is where it gets a little tricky. So our meals were amazing, very, very good, but it was expensive. I think mine was 33 and yours was 31 or vice versa. One was 33 and one was 31. And we didn't get a lot in the serving. So because the portion sizes were a little bit smaller, even though the food was so good, I'm gonna have to give it like a seven and a half because it really felt more like an appetizer serving, but the price was kind of high. Now, everything else, as you guys saw, we gave it three nine. So even that's a seven and a half, giving us an overall score of eight, six, two, five, I believe. We would still recommend this. Just know that it's gonna be on the pricier side, but it's a nice, quiet restaurant. It's only open for dinner, so make sure you keep that in mind. 
And we've eaten at both Mexican restaurants, and this one I definitely liked better. It's yeah, that's one of those probably unpopular Disney opinions, maybe. Or maybe it's more popular than we think. Tell us. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Ding that notification bell. And leave us a comment with that. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye! See you at the park or the restaurant. Yeah, at the park. Yep. See you Bye, there. Guys.